Hello friends, I welcome you in lecture number 37 on basic statistics. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about rank correlation coefficient. We will see that when we require rank correlation coefficient and how to compute rank correlation coefficient. So, to understand rank correlation coefficient, we consider one example. Suppose we have group of say 10 individuals or 10 persons and suppose we are interested in the intelligence and beauty of these 10 persons. So suppose intelligence is denoted by variable x and beauty is denoted by variable y. Now these two variables cannot be measured quantitatively. So we cannot uh, find out the relationship between them using Carl Pearson's coefficient of correlation because this intelligence and beauty cannot be measured quantitatively. So instead of that uh, some ranks will be given to the n persons depending on the amount of intelligence or beauty in them. So uh, suppose ranks are given, suppose ranks of this intelligence are given to 10 persons as x1, x2, x3 up to x10. That means the person which is most intelligent will be given first rank and the next uh, intelligent person will be given second rank and so on. So suppose ranks are given and we assume that ranks are taking values x1, x2 up to x10. Similarly, depending on the beauty of the person, another ranks will be given. The most beautiful individual is given first rank and then next beautiful person is given second rank and so on up to 10. So, these are the ranks of these two qualitative attributes, intelligence and beauty of 10 persons. There are 1, 2, 3 up to 10 individuals. So, rank correlation coefficient is the amount of relationship between these two attributes. It is not necessary that intelligence person is beautiful also. So, what will be the correlation between this type of qualitative attributes that we can measure using rank correlation coefficient which was given by Spearman. So, it is sometimes known as Spearman's rank correlation coefficient also. So, whenever our variables under consideration cannot be measured quantitatively or if the variables under consideration are qualitative variables, then to find out the degree of relationship between those two variables, we have to use rank correlation coefficient. So here I have written honesty, beauty, character, morality, etc. are qualitative characteristics. This cannot be measured quantitatively but can be arranged serially. That means depending upon the, uh, for example, as we have given ranks here, most intelligent person will be given first rank, then second rank. So we can give them ranks. So we can arrange them in this series. So that we have written here. They cannot be measured quantitatively but can be arranged serially or we can give them ranks. In such situations, Carl Pearson's coefficient of correlation cannot be used. Charles Edward Spearman developed a formula which consists in obtaining the correlation coefficient between the ranks of n individuals in the two attributes and that coefficient is known as Spearman's rank correlation coefficient. So here we have the formula for Spearman's rank correlation coefficient. Suppose we have n individuals and suppose ranks are given to them. Suppose for x attribute rank given to first individual is denoted by x1 and uh, the rank given to 
first individual related to y attribute is given by y1. Similarly, suppose for second individual ranks are x2, y2 and so on, xn, yn. So in general, let xi, yi, i equal to 1 to n be the ranks of the ith individual in two characteristics, say x and y. Now we take the difference between these two ranks x1 minus y1 is denoted by d1, x2 minus y2 is denoted by d2. In general, xi minus yi is denoted by di, i equal to 1 to n. Then Spearman's rank correlation coefficient is denoted by rho or r suffix s, s for Spearman and is given by this formula r suffix s equal to 1 minus 6 times sigma di square i equal to 1 to n divided by n times n square minus 1. So we are squaring all these values or differences between ranks. Okay, you can ignore suffix also. You can simply write 1 minus 6 times sigma d square divided by n times n square minus 1. So in this way we can compute Spearman's rank correlation coefficient. And uh, in this formula, we have made the assumption that these values are not uh, repeated. That is, xi is not equal to xj for all ij and same thing for values of y. That means ranks are not repeated. If ranks are repeated, then we have another formula that we will discuss in upcoming lecture. So if ranks are not repeated, we have this formula for computing rank correlation coefficient and we make remark that if we sum all the differences if we take the sum of differences of ranks di means xi minus yi then this must be zero always so this will be a cross check for our calculations uh, we can check whether our uh, differences of ranks are uh, correct or not by using this check it must be 0 sigma d must be 0 and value of rank correlation coefficient is also in between minus 1 and 1 so with this in mind we can uh, do this example here we are given 16 industries of some state have been ranked as follows according to profits earned in 1970-71 and working capital for the same year or for the same duration. So here there are 16 industries they are denoted by A, B, C up to P and these industries are ranked according to two attributes. One attribute is profits earned and another attribute is working capital for that duration. So suppose we denote profit by capital X. Suppose we denote this attribute profit by X or capital X denote the profit and suppose working capital is denoted by capital Y. Then here we are given ranks. So this uh, these are the ranks for variable x, these are the ranks for variable y. r suffix x means rank of x, r suffix y means rank of y. So according to the ranks, industry A is having highest profit, it is given rank as 1. Similarly, industry B is ranked 2 as profit is concerned and we can see that industry having first rank in working capital is industry M. So here already ranks are given, ranks for 16 industries corresponding to these two attributes profit and working capital. So using this information we have to find out rank correlation coefficient. So as we see that formula for rank correlation is 1 minus 16 times sigma d square divided by n times n square minus 1. 
so we have to find out the differences between ranks ranks are already given this first row denotes the ranks of variable x which is for profit second row denotes the ranks of variable y y is working capital so we can write down here one row corresponding to differences between x and y so we can write down here d is the difference between ranks of x and y and we can compute the ranks so 1 minus 13 that is minus 12 2 minus 16 which is minus 14 3 minus 14 that will be 11 4 minus 15 that is also minus 11 5 minus 10 is minus 5 then we can see this is minus 6 7 minus 4 3 8 minus 11 minus 3 9 minus 5 is 4 10 minus 9 is 1 this is going to be 3 here we have difference of 12 and 3 is 9 difference of 13 and 1 is 12 here difference is 8 here also 8 and here difference is 14 so these are the values of differences between the ranks now we require square of all these differences so we make square of all these values square of 12 is 144 square of minus 14 is 196 square of minus 11 is 121 square of minus 5 is 25 here we have 36 9 9 16 1 9 81 144 here 64 64 and 196 so now we can uh, sum all these values so if we make the total of all these d square values we will obtain 1 2 3 6 you can check using calculator or you can directly calculate sigma d square is 1 2 3 6 and you can check whether this is correct or not you can check that sum of all these differences sigma d must be 0 if you have done this uh, calculations correctly then sigma d must be 0 and here i have obtained that sigma d square is 1 2 3 6 okay, now i have ready made formula for spearman's rank correlation coefficient r suffix s is given by 1 minus 6 times sigma d square divided by n into n square minus 1 here value of n is 16 and we obtain that sigma d square is 1 2 3 6 so we substitute these values here sigma d square is 1 2 3 6 n is 16 16 square is 256 and minus 1 so we obtain that this is 7 4 1 6 16 into 255 and we obtain that rank correlation coefficient is minus 0 0.818 or we can round off up to two decimal places minus 0.82 so in this way if ranks are given you just have to remember that you first have to find out the differences between the ranks then take square of differences you will obtain sigma d square and use value of sigma d square and value of n in this formula and you will obtain spearman's rank correlation coefficient so in this way we can compute rank correlation coefficient and we will remember that we will use rank correlation coefficient if the variables under consideration are qualitative variables or if the variables cannot be measured quantitatively to establish the relationship between them we use the rank correlation coefficient so this is all about this session i hope you like it thank you